Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will be talking about Valky and how to install and set up Valky in our uh, Ubuntu virtual machine. So Valky is open source in memory data store. We have used uh, Redis quite a lot like in our superset installation also we saw how we can use Redis. But now uh, Redis is license change and now it's no longer open source and probably now they have licensing and all. So before they changed the license someone from their team forked uh, open source and now they are uh, continue they are going to continue this specific valky project so actually big shout out to them and actually great thing they did and a very very thanks to the valky team so let's continue to the steps so for this as well we have uh, this repository of IT assets and uh, here you can see the third point is Valky. For this specific tutorial I am going to use Azure VM and uh, let's see how we can do it. So what is all Valky and everything we will see and let's prepare our environment. So I am going to do sudo apt update and we need those these two things in our uh, server or uh, machine virtual machine. So it is already installed. Uh, sometime it happens that it will not be installed, but uh, both of them are installed in this specific VM. So let's cd slash app. I already have this app directory because we have a superset installed. But if you don't have, then you have to create it, then change ownership, and then cd inside the app. Now, for this specific tutorial, uh, one thing you can see there are branches. So this is unstable and so on. But uh, we want 7.2 i feel this is stable because uh, even redis is 7.2 what they clone so this should be like a stable branch so that's why we picked up this 7.2 you can select unstable if you want experimentation or something but let's go with 7.2 now you can see valky is installed uh, actually it is cloned here and let's move inside valky let me quickly clear it ls so you can see few things are here and before actually we can run the server we have to build it so how to build valky you can see we are inside the valky directory and we have to compile it from source code so let's run make this might take some time so let's wait so now it is ready let's do one thing make test for me actually it gave some error earlier let's see what happens now okay now it is working it will take a lot of time i'm going to kill it and let's move to the next part that is so i skipped this part make test and let's move to the src folder okay and here now you will see valky server file is available okay before doing that let's go uh, directory back and see you will see valky conf file is here if you open it i know valky conf you will see all the configuration this is just like redis and how to use this you will see instruction to that specific thing is here so the path to this file and then run your valky server all the things like uh, the password and all you will have to configure it here so i'm not going to do anything so let me skip it and so we will not do this way i'm not going to run valky server by itself without configuration so from where okay so cd uh, src and let me clear it so you will see valky server and uh, so app valky and valky conf okay so why this happened first thing that i need to run it with sudo and second thing is most probably our uh, okay so not most probably actually our uh, ip address is in use because we already have ready so i'm going to stop it and second thing let's run it using sudo command because I mean it runs but it needs sudo because of this PID and also processing and all so then you will not get even these kind of, of warnings. So now you can see our Valky is running on this specific port. 
so now our valky is installed and it is running we know so okay let's move to the service part so that whenever we reboot server or something goes wrong it will automatically start so to do that we are going to do sudo nano and etc system d system valky dot service this is going to be a blank file because we don't have the service in place inside that you will have to copy this thing except uh i guess i guess we have to update it i'll, I'll update it i copied actually from someone and uh, actually someone else is writing this documentation his name is here uh, his name is jitesh so probably he might be trying there so let's see app then valky then src inside src we have valky server so and uh, config also is instead of going here it is in app let me save it and it is going to restart on failure this is how we are going to run it so let me quickly revalidate app valky src valky server and app valky configuration fine now once it is done we can go ahead and reload the configuration and we need to enable this valky service in order it to be configured so that it will start automatically and let's start our valky okay hope it is running let's see let's check the status okay nice so our valky service is now running and it is uh, how you are going to manage it is using stop start status and even restart uh, this should be before we start the service so i'm going to remove it from here and going to change one more thing that is covered here that is you need you, if you want to copy anything from redis to valky you need to file the rdb file and then just place it in this place let's try connecting it to the client to connect to valky we need this uh, desktop manager so another redis desktop manager but even before that we have to configure so i'll show uh, we have to open this configuration file and inside that there are two things one thing that you will find here that is require pass so i'm going to put it somewhere uh, there will be it will be here in this documentation as well but what you can do you can uh huh, see it is here you can just uncomment this thing and uh, instead of uh, this thing you can put your password so i'm going to write a uh, pass one two three hash hash and then one more thing that is there was bind okay so here you will find bind and instead of doing this what you can do is zero dot zero dot zero dot zero then save it close it and sudo system ctl restart val key s y s t e m and then let's start it ah sorry check status it is running now let me quickly go to just another another redis desktop manager here i already had this connection so now it is saying no auth because i did not add the auth so i'm going to do a init connection here uh, where is auth pass one two three hash hash you can see this thing uh you need to open the port if that is not uh, opened so i opened it from uh azure now if you see it is connected and uh, you will see all the things and now it is working so you can see all the tps and so on and this is how you can connect or you can use valky in place of redis if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye